On the 27th day of October, Halloween gave to me 27 baby incubators, 26 father's eyes, 25 nipples biting, 24 demons moaning, 23 head skittering, 22 detectives thrilling, 21 wiener stretching, 20 zombies climbing, 19 Richards cheesing, 18 undead trains, 17 morticians regaling, 16 Vincent's cracking, 15 Lee's counting, 14 brides abiding, 13 Carfax Abbeys, 12 fathers stripping, 11 au pairs drowning, 10 children creeping, 9 Roddy seizing, 8 snowy mazes, 7 bacons digging, 6 doorways bending, 5 children yowling, 4 zombie bulls, 3 haunted mirrors, 2 monster houses, and a fog that makes it hard to see. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to October 27th. That's right, the 27th in our 31 films that we are looking at for the 31 days of Halloween. So, uh, wow, we are coming right down to it, huh? Man, it has gone so fast. But let's not uh, wax nostalgic for days gone by, folks. Let's talk about the movie in front of us, which is To the Devil a Daughter. That's right, it is a movie that will never let you forget. It is a hammer a uh, German uh, movie company co-production. And it's a really interesting movie that uh, I'd only seen bits and pieces of and, and finally sat down to watch for this. And it stars Christopher Lee as Father Michael. He is uh, the, the villain, the heavy of the piece. Uh, it stars Richard Widmark as John Verney, um, Richard Widmark is probably most memorable to me for having been in that John Wayne version of the Alamo, but he was in everything from, uh, 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 geez, death of gunfighter and kiss me deadly, I think is one of his first films. So he was one of those actors that kind of started noir bounced around in cowboy movies for a while and, and just kind of found himself, you know, as part of sort of Hollywood history. Um, passed away, uh, unfortunately, but uh, the guy had an amazing life. And he's this is towards the end of his film career. Um, he's still got another mm, probably 15 years or so of uh, television roles and stuff like that ahead of him. But he's kind of out of movies uh, not long after To the Devil a Daughter. Um and he's, uh, he's very good in this. He's very, like, he's an American in London is kind of his role. And then I guess I should say the whole movie revolves around a, a young girl named Catherine as played by a very young uh, Nastasia Kinski. And she has been raised by Father Michael in this church and is now being sent out onto the world uh, where uh, Father Michael will follow and kind of long story short, she is going to be the living embodiment of an ancient demon, you know, essentially the devil, uh, Asphoroth, I think is, uh, what they call him in this. And John Verney, Richard Widmark, uh, is an author who, uh, does books about like occult subjects and stuff like that. The guy who was assigned to raise Catherine, Nastasia uh, Kinski's character, has a moment of doubt at the end of his life once, you know, this evil is about to be loosed upon the world. And he contacts John Verney and says, hey, I need you to watch this girl. There are some people after me. And if you'll help me out, I will give you the real scoop on an actual honest to goodness witch coven. And so Richard Widmark agrees and ends up getting roped into this Armageddon level uh, sort of plot to resurrect this demon. And the thing that makes To the Devil a Daughter really fun and interesting is, uh, A, it's got Honor Blackman in it. Uh, from if, if you listen to Pick 6 Movies, we talked about her in Goldfinger as Pussy Galore. She was also one of the... Uh, uh, the early actors on the Avengers, the television series with uh, uh, Patrick McNee. And uh, she, she was the uh, 
the Emma, her character's name wasn't Emma Peel. I can't think of what it is now, but she was the Emma Peel before Diana Rigg was on the show. And it was the reason that they had to get a sassy lady because that's, that was her character on the show as well. And so it's kind of fun to see her in a later role. Um, she's very fun in this. She's just sort of friends. Her and her husband are just buddies with John Verney, who also kind of get roped into uh, this misadventure. And so that's really fun to see her in it. It builds out the sort of mythology of this cult and the machinations of this cult in a really satisfying way. And that's kind of the stuff I find really interesting about this movie is sort of the, it, it's the, the children of, well, oh, the children of the Lord, something like that is the name of the cult, uh, brotherhood of the Lord, something. Anyway, they, uh, <laughs> they, um, are really good in the movie about showing you sort of what their ritual is, what their beliefs are, uh, sort of who the central members of the cult are and what their roles are in all this, as well as like, how did we get to the point where, you know, we are loosing uh, a demon upon the world. And there is this almost like Ken Russell level uh, scene where you see uh, Catherine being kind of indoctrinated as this woman is being impregnated and that baby is later going to be used as a sacrifice. And it's just fucking crazy, but it's awesome. And it has a really fun ending where uh, Christopher Lee as brother Michael and Richard Widmark kind of square off against each other. And Richard Widmark just kind of outsmarts him a little bit. And there's a little bit of a... Uh, I, I would say an anticlimactic ending uh, that ends with a little bit of a wink. And I wasn't as crazy about that part of it, but everything else about the movie is so much fun. It It's just one of those like mid to late 70s uh, horror films that takes itself very seriously and it's doing very, you know, overtly religious and devil related stuff because by this point, the exorcist had been popular and you know, obviously there are uh, sort of oblique references to the Manson family and, and that sort of thing that had been seeping into pop culture. Um, it's, it's a really interesting movie. If you've never seen to the devil, a daughter, um, it, it's really fascinating. It, it's a, a cool little, uh, you know, not really a possession movie, but definitely a devil and cult movie and kind of possession. There's a, just a little whiff of possession in there. So, uh, if, if you're keeping score, um, that will make, uh, yet another possession film on our list. And I got to tell you folks, uh, we've only got one more possession movie to talk about. And then we're in the home stretch. We're doing the final three. The final three are just, uh, what, what I like to think of as stone cold bangers. So we'll be into that very shortly. Um, look, thanks for listening as always. This has been so much fun. I'm, I'm disappointed it's coming to an end, but here we are. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for engaging with this. As always, you can, uh, drop me a line at bow B O at Legion Uh, if you want to add your voice to this Halloween celebration. So, uh, everybody have a great Tuesday, have a very spooky Tuesday and, uh, and I'll be back. Uh, tomorrow with our final uh, Devil in Possession movie before we start talking about uh, the best Halloween movies of all time. Yay! Okay, I'll see you then. Bye. Bye.